Welcome to Oslo Airport and the largest drone exercise ever hosted on an operational airport. So Interpol is taking the initiative for the drone countermeasure incursion exercise because member countries are facing the threat from drones every day and also this technology is so new and emerging they need to understand this technology a lot better than they currently are. So we are working with our member countries and with the industry to enlarge and enhance the knowledge and expertise within member countries so they can select the appropriate solution for the appropriate task. Mitt namn er Stine Ramstad Vestby, og jeg er lufthavndirektør på Avinor Oslo Lufthavn. Ja, denne uka så har vi, er vi vertskap for en internasjonal droneøvelse eh, som er initiert av Interpol. Droner er en del av fremtiden, eh, og den skal fungere i samme, samkvem med luftfarten. Eh, og vi ønsker å legge til rette for at man kan få testet ut hvordan dette skal skje på en sikker måte. Everybody needs to work to keep the sky safe. That's why US Norway had taken a central part in organizing this event. We want to help to find a common solution so drones can be used for the best for everybody. My name is uh, Jan Otto Johansen and I am head of the counter UAS uh, at uh, the Norwegian National Police. We are um, here for three days testing different kinds of counter drone technology. I am from the Norwegian Communications Authority and right now we are monitoring radar usage here at Gardermoen making sure the operators here are uh, behaving according to the specifications given by us, looking to make sure they use the frequencies they are supposed to use and not disturbing any other important communications equipment here. For the first test, we will uh, test the different uh, passive detection systems. For the second test, we will test radars. For the third test, we will test multi-sensor systems and as the phase four, we will test different countermeasures. So the free Turkey scenario. Luciano, it's time to wrap up. Three days at Oslo Airport, more than 2,025 flights has been actually landing and taking off during the exercise. That's impressive, that's impressive. We never thought that we would be able to make it this far. Uh, during COVID times, uh, it has been a fantastic experience and we've been able to collect all the data that we needed for the exercise and hopefully we are gonna share with all our member countries very soon. 
Safety first. Let's uh, join uh, a common effort to keep the sky safe, even with more drones in the air. Thank you.